Listen, Rage Powder, that's fine. Powerball Charge is going to come out here. Going to get rid of the Walking Wake with the Parabolic Charge. What's going on, guys? Cisco here, back with some more VGG Double Battles, and we're back with some Regulation G. I know, I've been slacking. I apologize. Just that with work, it's been really busy to find some time to build these teams and get some battles done, but we're back. We're feeling good, and we're ready to build some awesome teams for you guys. So, we've got the other box cover legendary here, Maridon, and what this thing can do is set up Electric Train with Hadron Engine, and there are so many Pokemon that can just take advantage of that Electric Train and thrive. Now, what makes Maridon the best electric terrain setter, in my opinion, is just how much offensive pressure this thing can provide while still being bulky and having that constant HP recovery with Parabolic Charge. Just makes this thing nuts. Now, it's also got Dazzling Gleam for coverage against other Dragon types, Electric Drift as its strongest stab hitting move, and Dragon Pulse. And we've given it the choice specs just to get that extra bit of damage. And this thing has got three piles for today. Starting with Iron Treads. I love the idea that the hubs um, suggested, so shout out to you. Of having Iron Treads to be a defensive booster, maximize his defense, and get going for straight body presses, which is exactly what we're going to do. It's got Iron Defense to further raise his defense, and Heavy Slam for those Flutter Mains. This thing is going to be an absolute defensive tank. And the sweet thing is, we can go right on alongside Iron Treads and just freely click Parabolic Charge. Perfect, perfect duo. Alright, next up, we had to include here, even without any sun, Raging Bolt with that insane Rising Voltage. We previously showcased Rising Voltage, Raging Bolt with Thunderous, but I want to see just how nasty this thing is alongside Maridon. So it's got Rising Voltage, Thunderclap, Snarl, and Draco Meteor. And finally, its last companion is going to be that Hawlucha with the Electric Seed, which will pop in the Electric Terrain, activating Unburden, which will double its speed and allow Acrobatics to hit for 110 base damage. Now, three absolute powerhouses and all are going to get boosted by Hadron Engine on Maridon. And to be honest, I have no idea who's going to get that thumbnail. So we'll just have to see. They're going to have to battle out and we'll see who does the best and who's going to be able to get that spot on the thumbnail. And in the back, we got Gyarados for those Intimidates and to help us with the ground type weakness that we have on the squad with Waterfall. And finally, Volcarona for some speed control, redirection with Rage Powder and Fire Dance for those Ice Taps that were also very weak too. But hey, three insane combos all into one team who's doing it man i love building this team for you guys and making these creative teams i hope you guys enjoyed them as well but guys if you find yourself enjoying this video please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you're a return of you and are joined the console for come on just hit that sub button it really helps me out and i'd really appreciate it but now let's get rolling with this right on team and try to get some dubs all right we got a battle against cameroon and another oh my god another shadow rider calyrex i'm so done with these guys first match I played was against a Shadow Rider Calyrex. I just one-shot my Maridon. I think this time, we leave Gyarados behind. We come in with Helios. Or... Yeah, let's leave Volcarona second. Bring Maridon, and then... Halucha? Oh, Lucha looks pretty good here. I mean, so does Maridon with just, like, Parabolic Charge. And we could really only go for those Parabolic Chargers with Iron Treads next to us. Yeah, let's go Iron Treads. Another Shadow Violet Calyx that we got to deal with, man. That's, that's, that's unfortunate. They went for Helping Hand, Terra Ghost Boost, Astro Barrage, and that KO'd my Maridon, but my Raging Bolt survived. So I know my Raging Bolt can survive Nashor Barrage, no problem. We survived relatively comfortably, so. Calyrex and Bundle. Fun times. This thing is booster. Booster speed. I think we Terrasilize, or we could Snarl. We are... We are Assault Vested here. So if I Terrasilize here... Go for Tailwind, maybe? Or I could Rage Powder here. I don't mind the Rage Powder. Just to avoid the ice move coming into 
And they're gonna Terra as well. Or is it gonna be the Shadow Rider Calyrex as well? Bro, I can't with these guys. Oh, but it's not. It's just Fairy. Okay. So I'm just gonna Terrestrialize into Electric just to avoid any type of crazy damage. And we're gonna Rage Powder, hopefully, the Ice Beam or Freeze Dry, whatever it wants to be. Just swing that thing onto my Volcarona. Bundle's just gonna protect. Okay. A little annoying. Unless they go for Draining Kiss here. They go for Terra Blast. That's perfect. No Astro Barrage. Thank the Lord. Gonna be resisted. Beautiful. We're gonna get off a Snarl. And lower that thing's special attack. Screw your horsey. Beautiful. You're telling me this thing is... Oh my lord, man. I could just Thunderclap it. Thunderclap a Tailwind. Dude, of course this thing is Cobra Cloak. Gonna wish for all the bundle. This thing is Cobra Cloak. That's such BS. Oh, Beads of Ruin comes out here. Come on, Rage Bolt. Show me Thunderclap KO right here. It's not gonna KO. Yeah, it doesn't KO. Astro Barrage is gonna come out here. We both survived this easy. Nice. And we get off our Tailwind. So now we outspeed. For sure. And I can just go Rising Voltage and Fiery Dance right here, right? Is Fiery Dance enough? Volcron is faster, right? You just want to make sure. 114. Yeah, Volcron is faster. I don't know if that thing is enough. Hmm... I really don't know if Fiery Dance is enough. It's fine. Let's just see. Let's see. Alright, good thing we didn't double into that. I would have been sad if we did. Fiery Dance is going to hit into the Protect. Rising Voltage. Not going to do as much damage, but hey. It's going to hurt. It's Stab. Terra Stab. On to Chiyu. We get a crit. And they go for Overheat. Which we should survive, right? They get the KO like that? I'm Assault Vested. No shot. Alright. Enough playing around here. <laughs> That's it. I'm done playing around. Let's go right on. Let's sweep up the game. We're going to choice into Parabolic Charge. Parabolic Charge, and then we come in with my Iron Shreds. And it's done. It's GG's. Listen, my Volcarona and Rage Bolt put in a lot of work at the beginning. Got a lot of damage done to their side. Now we can just sweep them right on. So, I'm pretty happy with Raging Bolt there. Would have liked to survive that overheat. I didn't think it'd pick up the KO, but... Hey. All right, so Iron Shreds comes out here. We can freely go for Power Block Charge now. We're going to get that max defense. They're going to withdraw the Calyrex as well, actually. Into the Indeedy. You son of a biscuit. Are you kidding me? Regardless... Regardless, that does so much damage. Oh my goodness. And we still have Tailwind up. Booster already wasted up on Bundle, so we're perfectly fine here. We go Parabolic Charge. We go Body Press onto the Ndidi, and that's wraps. It's done. Choice Spec Parabolic Charge, buddy. You ain't eating those hits. 
There's no way. Nice protect. That's fine. You're not going to waste that my I think I have one more turn of Tailwind after this turn. I think I have one more turn of Tailwind. Indeed, he survives, actually. So, we get the KO with Body Press. So, good try. Good try. I could swap out the Maraid on here. Oh, no. Tailwind finished up now. Hmm. Tailwind up finishes up now. Who has a higher speed stat? Calyrex or... The Bolt? No, what am I saying? Maridon... Maridon or Bundle? 135 with Maridon. Bundle's 136. It outspeeds us. Okay. I'm gonna go into my... Volcarona. And just body press the bundle. I don't want to sit there like a hopeless duck. Astro Barrage comes out here. Wow, man. That's damage. At least you go for Icy Wind. Did we eat that up? Are you kidding me, Iron Treads? Oh my lord, man. That's game. We're gonna lose to another Shadow Rider Calyrex. And we boost our speed, man. No shot. Icy Wind comes out here. Does a ton of damage. Yo, no way, bro. Another Shadow Cut. Oh my goodness, dude. This game. That Pokemon sucks. Dude, this is our third Shadow Rider Calyrex. Oh my goodness. All right, but we have full terrain control here. So I want to go actually Maridon and maybe Iron Treads. Maridon should be outspeeding most of these guys. We are not max speed, but we're almost there. No one here besides the that little thing there, the little horse. Besides that, no one outspeeds us. So I'm wondering if Maridon is still the right choice here. Actually, no, hold up. My my Halucha would outspeed here. I'm actually going to go Halucha. Bring Raging Bolt in the back. Then maybe close things off with Treads. Hmm. Actually, Treads is... No, let's go Gyarados. Treads has the Urshifu there that really just walls it, so... Let's go Gyarados. We we'll probably have that Intimidate, and then we can soak the... the Surging Strikes there. And we resist the Flare Blitz. And the good thing is, I remember this time, we can't get Spored in Electric Terrain. And they're going to lead off these two. So they can just fake out, man. They're just going to fake out my... Who you fake out here? Get an attack drop. That's so annoying, man. Let's terrestrialize. He's go Astro Barrage here, but I don't think Astro Barrage should be enough here. I'm gonna try to land an Electric Drift onto the Incineroar. And just acrobatics this guy. We are minus one, which kind of sucks. Let's go acrobatics. 
Yeah, they're gonna figure out them right on. Acrobatic comes out here. Doesn't even do half. That intimidate killed us. Will o wisp. Oh, I'll take that any day of the week. I will take that any day of the week. Now we can actually go for the. Oh, actually, hold up. Do we want to go? Par oh, actually, yeah, we can go parabolic charge. Let's go parabolic charge and detect my my halucha here. Will o wisp on a. Uh, Calyrex. So Parabolic Charge is only going to connect onto the Incineroar. How much damage are we doing to it? I don't think we can pick up the KO here. Yeah, no, we do have. Activated Citrus Berry. We're back to full HP though, which is kind of nice. And they go for Parting Shot. Okay. So now I just go for another Power Ball Charge, right? I could kind of sack off my... Now nah, let's go Bolt. I said, hey, maybe we could sack off all Luch here and just let it die out. But no, no, let's not, let's not sack it off that easily. Even without the defensive boost, this thing can still do damage. And they actually withdraw the Incineroar, so we're going to get free damage here. Oh, Lando. Not completely free. Astro Barrage comes out here. We should survive that, right? Right, Maridon? Okay, beautiful. Easy. Easy. Parabolic Charge is going to connect onto my Bolt. And we get rid of the Calyrex. All right, beautiful. We finally got rid of the Calyrex. Finally. And we're going to get massive HP back. Now, how are we stopping this guy? Gonna be the Incineroar. I do have Draco Meteor. And I actually just might swap um, into Gyarados here. And go for a Snarl. Don't really mind a Snarl here. I could go Draco. Let's go for Snarl. Let's Snarl this thing up. Let's let's lower this thing's special attack. Because he actually might just fake out my bolt and go into an Earth Power into my Maridon. No, he fakes out my Maridon slot. And he Earth Powers. You don't survive. I got it wrong. Feels bad, man. Halucha's still at speeds here. I don't know if... Does Gyarados outspeed? Hmm. I could go Dazzling Gleam. I might just go Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam. I'll go Terra Dazzling Gleam and then... Rip a Waterfall. Into the Lando, yeah. Let's go. Come on, Maridon. Show me the damage. They could protect the... The Lando here. I see a protect coming. But I thought they would fake out the Raging Bolt there and then go into Earth Power onto the Maridon slot. I thought they saw Maridon as more of a threat, but no. I guess Raging Bolt is a bigger threat. Alright, they're really thinking here. Listen, we got rid of the Calyrex. That's the win of my books. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Alright, come on, man. Let's go. Speed it up. We're going to Terrasilize into a nice Fairy type. There should be no reason you go for Sludge Bomb here. No reason whatsoever. If they do, then they're hacking. They have a camera in my house, in my house somewhere. They're going to Terrasilize as well. Are you trying to poison? Oh no, the Taras is Incineroar. 
It's a ghost. Okay. Don't really see the purpose of that. Lando's gonna protect. So now it definitely sees the KO with, um... With Sludge Bomb. But Mariano just gets rid of the Incineroar and wastes their, their Terra. Lovely. We get rid of their Terra, which is beautiful. They're down to their final two mons. Gonna be the Lando and who else? Do we outspeed this Lando with Gyarados? Oh, our terrain is done. It's gonna be the Urshifu. Nope, we don't outspeed. We do not outspeed here. I'm gonna go Ice Fang into the Landorus and swap my Halucha in. We'll stack off Halucha. Landorus already protected. If Ice Fang connects, that's this guy gone. And I don't see them picking up a KO on my Gyarados. Because they want to go for Sludge Bomb on my Urshifu Detects. Beautiful. I'm sure they want to go into Sludge Bomb onto my Maridon. And Libre actually even soaks. Ice Fang connects. Landorus, get out of here. And now it becomes a... 3v1. Sorry, I forgot to count for a second. Go for Waterfall. Go for Acrobatics. That's done. Hey, why is Flying Press super effective? Oh. 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 Regardless, Acrobatics is a better move here. Battle's canceled. GG's. Getting rid of that Shadow Rider Calyrex. Alright, we've got Audrey 2022. And they've got a, another Sun Team as well. Similar Pokemon. Is that a... Water Ursh or Dark Ursh? Might be Dark Ursh. Because it doesn't make sense under the sun. Like, it reduces the surging strikes. So that probably is a Dursh. Could go Maridon. And what really pressures Grout on here? Do I have anything that really, like, pressures this Grout on? Not really. I might just want to go into Raging Bolt and Ride on here. Or, yeah, let's go these two. Let's bring Trez in the back just in case we want to go for the Powerbolic Charge. And we'll finish things off with, with Halucha. Let's go the, the, the four, four terrain squad. <laughs> the quadruplet. This way, like, if... if if Raging Bolt doesn't seem too good and Parabolic Charge seems like the best option here, I can just swap out my Bolt, bring in Treads, and freely go for Parabolic Charge. But if they leave the ground on, I'm not going into... Listen. That's fine. I'm pretty sure we outspeed that wake. Especially with no... Yeah, we definitely outspeed that way. And we go Rising Vulture into the Moongus. Listen, Rage Powder, that's fine. Powerball Charge is going to come out here. Going to get rid of the Walking Wake. With the Parabolic Charge. Oh, it was a crit. I don't think that mattered because in the previous game, we picked up the one shot. I'm going to have to run that calc, but I don't think the crit mattered. But Rising Vulture comes out here onto the Moongus. Let's pick up the Kale. Fair enough. Tanky little Moongus. <laughs> but listen, it's done now. Unless you have um, Groudon. Despacio. You do have the Groudon. And they just go for Precip's Blade, right? They're going to boost my special attack. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm electric terror with bolt, right? Yeah. So I could go into Libra here. Don't mind that. I'm gonna Terra. And I'm just gonna go for a Draco here. 
That way my Maridon survives another turn. And maybe we can get a Draco off with the Bolt. If we get a Draco off with the Bolt, that's huge. Because now my, Mar my Maridon survives whatever they throw here. It's just a Rage Powder and Precip's Blade. We all speed. We get rid of the Amoongus. That's disgusting. <laughs> now we're at full HP if we weren't already. And we missed the Draco. Oh no, we connected Draco. Beautiful. How much damage are you doing? <laughs> Raging Bull, you're disgusting. Person Blade comes out here. Gonna get rid of my Bolt, but Bolt did already enough damage. Look at that thing's health from one Draco. Oh my goodness. Now we come in with Halucha. And listen, I think so far, Halucha and Bolt are winning that thumbnail. Halucha, and it's gonna be Incineroar. That's it. It's GG's. You could fake me out. Yeah, you can fake out my Maridon, but it doesn't matter. Because I outspeed. With Halucha here. You fake out my Halucha. Okay. I'm going to get a ton of HP back because I'm going to get rid of my own Halucha here. <laughs> and we're going to get some HP back from the Incineroar. I'm sorry, Halucha. I didn't mean to do that. I really thought he was going to fake out my... I'm right on here. And we go to full HP. I think survives, though. It's going to go for a rock slide. Which, that we're definitely going to eat up. That's fine. So now we come with treads. I think we outspeed the Groudon. We're max speed. Not max max speed, but... You know, we're up there. Defense is going to be heightened. And we just go for Pyroballic Charge and... And a Body Press. And that should be game. Pyroballic Charge is not going to do anything to the Groudon. And my treads. And yeah, we outspeed. Treads out speeds. So we're going to get rid of the Groudon. And then that's, that's GG's. Look how much HP we... This is why Maridon is so sick. Body Press out speeds. Gets rid of the Groudon. And that's it. It's done. Incineroar can't get rid of anyone here. Except, well, maybe the... Maybe the treads. Not even the treads. You can't get rid of my treads. And you're going to take recall damage. And you're going to die out to that. Oh, no. You survive on one. I thought you died. But Maridon's surviving the whole game and going for Powerball Charges. That's why this thing is so sick. Because just continuously go for Powerball Charges. Reheals you. And lets you stay on that field for as long as possible. GG's. Alright, let's finish this game off against Azacian. Woof. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go Maridon. Now, listen. The, the only thing around this team is lack of speed control. But at the same time... Oh my goodness. Maridon looks disgusting here. Let's go Maridon Bolt. Then we go Halucha in the back. And then Gyarados just for the Intimidates. Yeah, Treads, you're not going to get the thumbnail. You're really not. <laughs> you're really not doing too much today. The concept is cool. But I thought... Um, Body Press would be doing more damage. Maybe, listen. Maybe I just did it onto a Groudon. And it had a really high defensive stat. But... That, that body press was very underwhelming. It was max defense due to terrain and then a plus two with iron defense. And they still don't need to do like a third to grout on. So now on the other hand, Bolt and Maridon, they're ripping things apart in these games. And don't get me wrong, Halucha. Halucha's coming in and finishing off little things there, here and there. So Halucha's not doing too bad too. Halucha might get a little position between both of them. <laughs> Alright, they're running down the clock into the final seconds. Come on, buddy. Finally. Okay, so they have no fake out pressure there. Nothing resists electric moves. So we can go for electro uh, prior ball charge. And then rising voltage. 
I just gotta see who I want to Terrasilize. That's it. It's gonna be Flutter and Walking Wake. Easy. I Terrasilize. Speed was high end. I Terrasilize my Maraid on here. We go for a Powerball Charge. And do I go for a Snarl or do I go for a Rising Voltage here? Do we just do damage? Powerball Charge should be getting rid of the the Walking Wake. I kind of want to go for Snarl. Nah, let's just go Voltage, right? Rising Voltage. Because Snarl might help pick up any like lingering 1 HPs, 2 HPs. And it will lower their special attack. Let's go Snarl. Let's go Snarl. Let's just do Snarl. So we're going to Terrasize some Rhydon into Fairy type. Just to resist any Dragon and Fairy type moves. We'll not resist. We're going to be immune to Dragon and then take neutral from Fairy. And then we'll be able to get a Electro Drift. Uh, not Electro Drift. They go for Icy Wind. Walking Wake, are you going for Draco? Oh, you go for it. You go on to this guy. Do we eat that up? No, we don't. That feels bad. Poor Raging Bolt. <laughs> Took one to the face. I really thought they would go after right on there. But no. And Maridon just one hit KO's Walking Wakes. It is confirmed. That's the third time I one hit KO a Walking Wake. My goodness. Okay. Halucha time. Because Halucha, even though this thing is max speed, we should still be outspeeding here. We should still be outspeeding this, um... Ooh, actually, hold up. Because I'm stuck into Powerball Charge. Let me go into Gyarados, get the Intimidate off. And let me just go into a Acrobatics into the Flutter main. I don't want to KO my own Halucha here. I I, I need I need the Halucha. We're going to go to Gyarados, get the Intimidate off on the Shenpao. And we'll go from there. Because Shenpao might be just going for Ice Go Crash into the Gyarados right now. Acrobatic South Speeds get rid, of, get rid of the Flutter main. I just love Halucha and it's unburdened, bro. It's so good. They have legal fire spinner. All right, perfect. They're going to get rid of my terrain, but guess what? I can get a step back up. Don't you worry, buddy. And who's going to be your final mon? Zacian. Okay. They haven't terrestrialized yet. I kind of want to protect. I kind of want to swap out my right on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe we come in with Mariah on here. And we go into a flying press onto... We could go acrobatics. Actually, no, we can't go for anything. I'm gonna detect. They probably go play rough into my... Lucha here. Hopefully the Shen Pao is looking to protect. Come on, show me protect. They're gonna Terrasize. Probably gonna be the Zacian. Yep. Into what? Into flying, okay. Okay. We cannot hit that for super effective. Is Shen Pao protecting? Please? Oh my goodness, that's disgusting. That is not fair. What in the world is that? Alright, let's... Oh my goodness, man. 
Jesus. So I go acrobatics into this guy. Or do I get rid of the Shenpao? I did swap out. Yeah, I'm gonna swap out. I'm gonna swap out the Gyarados here. Okay. And then I think we just go... Flying press? No, let's go acrobatics into the Zacian. Let's chip up the Zacian real quick. What's this thing's speed? I forgot what Zacian's speed is. 138. So it outspeeds Maridon as well. Kinda, kinda whack. Shenpao's at minus two now. They go for Sucker Punch. Huge. Okay, that's nice. Acrobatics does does half. Okay, that's not bad. Who survived? No shot. Don't survive there. Oof, okay. This was looking kind of tough. Listen, they just go for Sucker Punch here, right? Hundred percent, just go for Sucker Punch. So Marina's gonna go down regardless. Sasha protects. Oh no! Double protect. Okay. Could have gone for. A dragon dance there. Well, we go the same thing. This is just nothing else we can do. There's a sucker punch. Gonna get the KO on Maraid on. All we gotta hope for is that we survive a hit from the Zashin here. Or if we just dodge the attack. Oh my god, oh, I just hurt my hand. Oh my goodness, Gyarados dodging a play rough right here. Huge dodge. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're in my hand. And this thing is at minus two, so that should be game. Ice Spinner's not going to do much, right? I still did 60 damage. You got a Citrus Berry. Puts up, so we can take one more. All we got to do is... Do at least half. Come on, Gyarados. Show me half. We lose to crit. Come on, Gyarados. Let's finish off the game for us. There's a nice spinner. We survive on 27. And we connect the waterfall. And that's going to be a GG's. Huge clutch from Gyarados. Dodging the play rough there. Oh, my goodness. Yo, GG's. That was a very good game. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our Maridon team is complete. And if there's one thing I learned from these battles is that Maridon and Raging Bolt can do massive, insane amounts of damage. If you click Electro Drift and Rising Voltage with both of those, number one, they're going to be able to hit up a shot. And number two, the opposing side is not going to be able to hit any of those two shots. These two can do some damage and got to be careful for those in Regulation G. Iron Treads? Eh, I mean... The thought process was there. Like, it was a pretty cool idea, but it just doesn't do enough damage to body press. I think we, it's, we're better off going for its attacking stat instead and going for Iron Heads or any physical moves instead of body press. And then Halucha. Halucha's amazing, man. Unburdened, doubling its speed, making it the fastest thing on the field. Being able to outspeed a max speed Fluttermane and pick up KOs is insane. So, honestly, Maridon, Raging Bolt, and Halucha... A trio that maybe just giving Halucha the ground terror so that way you can click parabolic charge next to it. That would be the only thing I would suggest. But besides that, fantastic team. Fantastic pairing up with Maridon and Bolt and Maridon and Halucha. And then Gyarados and Volcarona. Just standard really good Pokemon. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.